In this video, we're gonna be looking to create a LinkedIn ad using the new AI campaign builder within the platform. Now, I've never actually created one of these AI ads before, but I came across this Accelerate I think they're calling it, which is currently in beta in some of our accounts. So I'm gonna go in today, I'm gonna to set a campaign up. Apparently all you have to do is add a URL and then LinkedIn ads sorts out the rest for you. So I have my suspicions. I'm gonna give it a fair crack and I'm gonna create a campaign now and uh, bring up some of my thoughts in real time whilst creating this campaign. So let's jump straight into it. Now I'm gonna go and create a new campaign group just to house this and it's called it AI. Um, and I'm gonna turn this off as well, like I typically do. So let's go create a campaign. And what we can see now is this little very familiar uh, AI symbol, which ultimately most SaaS platforms, the product ma marketing managers have been going mad for these and adding these across the board. Pretty much just means you can sort out your campaigns um, with an AI touch. And at the moment it's only available on website visits and lead generation. So let's click a campaign uh, objective uh, website clicks. And you can go to the classic builder or you can use the new beta accelerate uh, right here. So let's go on accelerate. And apparently all we have to do is add a URL. So let's go look at the SEO page um, or website and let's copy and paste the URL across here um, and select this page here. And what it goes on to next looks like a review, this product description. Um, so ultimately this is what it's picked up and I'm not gonna edit any of this just for the sake of this video because I feel like you know with AI, it does need a lot of editing, especially if you wanna um, get the most out of it. But in this case, I'm kind of interested to see without any prompt what it comes up with because otherwise I kind of feel like you might as well just create a campaign with the classic builder anyway. Um, I'm not gonna go through this, so let's just click create campaign. Okay, so we're now on the right hand side, looks like we have an AI chat bot in case you've got any questions. Um, and here we have the outline of a campaign. So um, we have the campaign details at the top. So it's got the name of the campaign, which we can obviously go up here and edit, but I won't because you know we want AI to do that. Um, accelerate campaign group, okay, type of it. Uh, in draft and they judge website visits because that's what we selected. Okay, so not majorly impressed with the uh, top bit, but there's not much there. Budget and schedule. So we recommend this budget based on objectives and historical trends. This is a test account, so I'm not quite sure where 200 uh, pounds a day budget comes from. Um, interesting. And then continuous, pretty standard. Um, landing page clicks, maximize delivery. Again, this is something that we've We've only ever tested maximized delivery against manual CPC and we have a reason why we start out fresh accounts with manual CPC, not maximized delivery because it always becomes much more expensive until we have the data that we want to push back into the account. So again, I feel like they say they're using our historical events, but they're just using the model which kind of they want us to use. It's kind of like Google. If you set up a campaign which allows them to use their AI and their sort of quick campaign features, then they're always going to propose things like broad match and like much like wider bidding and everything else. Okay, so you can edit that as well. Um, audience signals. So we'll use your product description, okay, which we've just included to target the right audience for your business and campaign objective. As people will engage the ad, targeting will update to reach the professionals. Okay, so they're gonna use a description that they create with AI, which I didn't check to go and target buyers based on that and then use the optimization data to go and actually optimize that campaign. There's two things I don't really like about this. Um, one is, um, I feel like, again, they're kind of trying to go down this Facebook route of with Facebook, you can start mentioning who you're targeting by your ad creative and your descriptions and you'll start finding really good people to go after, which actually from a Facebook perspective, even in B2B, we've seen it work pretty well. Um, but from a LinkedIn side, you know, there's a reason we've never used uh, look-alike audiences. Their pairing of data with the information you give them is never seen to be quite the same. And it doesn't need to be, right? Because we can literally choose the exact firmographics, um, job title, um, whatever it may be that we're looking to target anyway. So from a targeting perspective, that's where it comes you know, in really useful. And I've never really seen as automated features, even from you know a way to reward people that are doing really good ad campaigns, getting a lower CPC because of a higher click-through rate. I've never seen that massively impact it as well. So from an optimization and machine learning perspective, I've never actually sh uh, seen it work that well. So that makes me nervous. Um, the second one is 
actually going and targeting the right audience, this is going to take a lot, a very broad audience into account. I think anyone who's remotely interested in this product, they'll do it. If someone has a better, you know, click through rate, for example, then they might start showing up that type of person more. But again, that makes me nervous because you could start targeting other marketing agencies for us, for example, which may have a really high click through rate because they're interested, but they're not going to convert into customers. And because LinkedIn ads isn't a direct response platform, they're not going to have necessarily the conversion API from a direct response data input for them to be able to understand that's not a good fit for us. So they might just keep shoving this creative down the throats of people who are clicking but not buying because it's really hard, unlike say, for example, Google ads and Bing ads, to have that feedback loop to actually feed it in that offline conversion value for it to really use its machine learning properly and go after them. So two thoughts there that I don't really necessarily like. Um, okay, so now you can create an ad. So create a new ad um, and let's uh, draft with AI. I'm not gonna change any of this. Um, uncover, you know it's AI, uh, unedited when it says uncover the keyword and surpass competitors with SEO by social media. Okay, not great, but I don't, you know, I've seen, I've seen worse. I, I kind of see where it's trying to go to and it's actually a little bit creative with, you know, uncover the keyword, understand the context of keywords, mm -hmm. surpass competitors, um, kind of like the play on words with like surpass, maybe, you know, at least it doesn't use the word elevate. Normally AI uses the word elevate. Um, but again, it's, you know, a lukewarm um, at best, clunky by putting by session media, doesn't need that because obviously we have the logo and everything else. Ultimately, I'd like to see here sort of like a, a problem focused approach, you know, um, which is a bit more succinct or calling out a target audience market, for example, sort of breaking down that third wall. So let's just accept this for now and go on to uh, headline draft. Dominate search day again. It's sort of like kind of taking what I feel like a, a, a lot of examples you see online of people who just go in and quickly write like dominate search day, get it out and done with. So again, if you're looking to, you know, if you're, potentially have no interest in spending more than two minutes creating this campaign, then it's fine. But I don't think you should hold your breath for results because you might run out of air. Um, except, and then let's go on to media and go on to create. And let's, oh, Microsoft Designer. This is new. Create a professional LinkedIn ad that showcases my business and tracks clients. Um, bad, I want to change this for an SEO agency. I'm not a prompt engineer, but let's see what happens here. Here we go. Suspense is killing me. Oh, here we go. Yeah, and again, it looks like the sort of like the standard um, thing that you'd see when you look for an AI generated image. Again, they look pretty, but again, we want clear USP or differentiator focused, um, again, um, images and product pages or service uh, service ads but I mean I don't even know what this is boost your online presence again this one has kind of got confused a bit with zoom boost your online presence again it's kind of like the Shutterstock integration initially with LinkedIn if you're just going to use one of those then um, kind of looks like you're selling like a zoom um, Okay, let's just use this one for now. Done. Uh, okay, so downloading our design. So it's created that from scratch. I think this is one of the things we're seeing quite a lot at the moment with products is, especially with Microsoft products is because they bought obviously a, a large share of chat GBT. They're looking to insert that into their sort of whole tech suite. Um, and while I do think there's going to be a lot of companies who just go through not quite sure how to create campaigns, this seems like a good idea. And don't think necessarily too much about the mechanics of targeting and or ad creative process and testing um, and sort of best practice from that side of things. I think it probably would actually be used because the amount of times we've gone in and seen a campaign set up on a Google ads perspective, which is like a quick create express campaign, which is just spending loads of random money. I felt like this could very much be the same. Um, but again, when it comes to images as well, I think it becomes a bit more obvious that the creative maybe isn't up to up to scratch of what you're necessarily be looking for. So I think maybe for some, you know, if you fed it some really good prompts and you had some existing imagery, maybe it could sort of like tie that into a couple of like um, visually pleasing angles um, and sort of use that together. But again, I think today's video was very much about just looking um, at this from a um, perspective of um, 
what can it do without any sort of human input? Because in my opinion, I've created so many videos around LinkedIn ads and we're probably gonna be spending the same amount of time creating this um, from what that we would do actually creating a LinkedIn ad set up itself. Um, if you know who you're targeting and have done sort of like the, the proper research beforehand, I'll link to that video at the end. So I went in, actually just went in and tried this again um, and left it with the initial prompt and it brought this up, which I think is a lot more relevant. So let's just go and go draft with AI and do this again. So I wasn't quite happy with the previous one. I mean, I'm not happy necessarily with this one, but I think from a context perspective, it's got a magnifying glass and a search page and a little tick. You know, there is a concept there compared to the other ones, which I couldn't actually find out what um, they were. So dominate, again, dominate is a very AI uh, based word. Um, and what we have here. But yeah, I think that's interesting. So I actually, like, it's not good, but I think it's like, it's like a good Shutterstock photo for this. If you weren't going to do anything else, it's not a good ad and it, you know, no one's going to click on that and be like, these guys are, you know, the experts in this space. Um, but, you know, it's a thing. Uh, don't ask me again. No, just say as. So this is the create dominate online search with session media strategic SEO. Dominate search engines. Like, you know, is it going to light the world on fire? No. Is it good? No. D is it something that I can see people running if they can't bother to create a proper campaign? Yes. Um, will it add money to Microsoft's bottom line? Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, it's an interesting one. I feel like because of the acquisition, they've shoehorned this features in and I feel like if you're paying five, 10, 15 pounds CPC, the last thing you wanna do is spend too much time testing a complete unknown audience um, for them then to go and optimize with creative that you're not really that happy with. I'd much rather spend a lot more time on the creative, on actually working out who we wanna target and then plugging it in manually and then using the AI and the machine learning in the background to make those incremental changes once we have the data that we know what's working. Um, next one, placements, again, uh, optimized placements, including this is a problem, LinkedIn search network of trusted partners. We always take out LAN unless we're doing connected TV, which is on their LAN, um, but that's a slightly different campaign setup. I'll link to connected TV ads in the bottom as well. Um, if you go on edit, um, you can exclude categories. So you can kind of exclude all of these different, we optimize uh, mobile, select categories of mobile apps and sites. So that's all we've got to see is mobile apps. Like we don't want to be appearing in mobile apps for an enterprise buying, um, you know, solution or an SME B2B focused uh, software or service or whatever it may be. So even the fact it says apps makes me not want to go there. Um, so just remove the LAN, don't use this. Um, again, I don't, I wouldn't use this just for the sake that it uses a LAN and upload publish a list. Interestingly, um, you can go, you can download the template here and up, you know, publish you don't want to appear on. Problem is you don't actually get this unless you're doing connected TV. Um, you don't actually get the, where all your ads are appearing. So it becomes really hard to know where to block. Um, and then conversion tracking, this is standard. Um, you can add your conversions. Um, you can click launch campaign. I'm definitely not gonna launch the campaign. I think technically you could create this campaign in about 30 seconds of just going on clicking what you want and just going, yes, maybe if you've got some ad creative, even if I had the ad creative I wanted, this isn't gonna be a good option, mainly because I don't trust the matching is gonna be that relevant just from what I've seen from lookalike audiences and it's sort of approach relative to the likes of um, Facebook, for example, or Meta. Um, and I don't like the idea that the land's gonna be in there. So you're gonna be paying lots of money on testing relevant random audiences on the likes of mobile apps from loads of different categories unless you go through and manually exclude them and there's a much easier way of just excluding LAN when you go through and do a manual campaign setup so do I recommend using the AI feature no do I think it's cool they're trying to integrate some of these features yes in part do I think it'd be quite nice as a way to streamline workflow from when you have a campaign live to then try and make these automated adjustments and recommendations a bit smarter 100% Let's know what you guys think. I'm not gonna press live because I actually don't wanna burn through my budget this way. But if you do wanna actually find out how to create a really good campaign, I say it's within 10 minutes, but actually it took me about 23 minutes to go through start to finish. Click on this video here. And uh, yeah, I think that will leave you feeling a lot more satisfied. Anyway, guys, speak to you very soon.